<laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to Parrot Lefty. Thank you for joining us. This is going to be part two of the two-part series of installing the Edelbrock intake manifold and fuel rails. So uh, let's get right into it and thanks for stopping by. So what we have to do is once we pulled the injectors out, none of the O-rings came out of the rails. And in order to use the new rails that we just got, um, we have to fish the O-rings out. The heads on these bolts strip up from the reviews, so we're gonna go ahead and just take the rocket to them real quick and make sure that we get a good seal because we don't want to have a leaking intake. And once we put the fuel rails on, these are no longer gonna be accessible. So it's best just to nip this in the bud while we can. Next thing we're going to do is make sure we have two of the right side fuel rails. How are we supposed to do this? Uh, well, there it is. I don't like this setup. I don't like how long that hose is. We're probably going to end up doing that. Because I don't, I don't like that three foot hose there. It was necessary on the last setup. It is not necessary on this setup. So expect to see that change. Right now, we're gonna move over. And work on the opposite side. So we got it hooked up with that line, which that's really ugly, but for testing purposes, it'll probably do, to be honest. We're gonna screw these into the back and then hook them together with this line, which this has to have that special tool, which I don't have. So I guess we're gonna just shoot for the stars.
stand kind of back. And if you see fuel squirting up out of it anywhere, tell me to stop. Great. Why don't I do that part and you look? Because I, I need to do this part. Anything? I don't have to see anything squirting up. Alright, hit the garage. Well, it's not running very good, that's why. But, we tested it, it has no fuel leaks. All right guys, so I'm gonna kinda give you a rundown on what we've completed here recently. Um, I buttoned it up a lot last night while the camera was dead. I couldn't find the charging port for it. So, um, we shortened the line for the nitrous. So it's only a foot long or so. Um, well, it's not the nitrous line, it's the fuel line. Um, I do want to shorten the lines that go from the solenoids to the plate. I'm probably going to do that with the two-foot hose. These are three feet. Um, unfortunately, I can't do that right now. I don't have the hose to do it. We disconnected the fuel line. The um, black one, I posted a picture on Instagram. But we disconnected that and we ran the steel braided line that came in the kit. Um, unfortunately, the reason why it bends up like this is it's very specific to the length and instead of connecting here because we have the nitrous, um, it gives it this bend. We're going to probably find a way. I'll probably zip tie it down. Um, I'm going to get some black zip ties. We're going to clean up some of the wiring with some black tape uh, just to give it a better look because obviously now that we have this, we're going to want to open our hood more often and to show it off. Um, so what I have to do right now is I have to secure the intake tube down. Actually, I could probably just use an 8 and zap everything with... So that's all taken care of. Um, my daughter just got here. I can't be working on the car. I only get to spend 14 hours with her before she goes with her mom for Christmas break. So what we're gonna do is, in order to get the car to try and learn the fuel map a little bit, is we're just gonna let it idle for about 30 minutes. Um, and the other thing is, before you guys saw, I had a catch can here, but due to this coming out here, um, and the PCV hose being here, um, we ran a new line of PCV from the PCV valve to the intake and um, yeah, it's, it's on there pretty good. Um, what we're going to end up doing is we're probably going to get like a good couple feet of hose and we're going to relocate it over onto this side of the engine bay um, in the future and that is the plans we have right now. Um, we did have the tube from the intake that went here, from here into there, um, this is on a 90 degree elbow, so we're just going to throw a filter on that, and then I actually tightened this up, but I need to loosen it, and um, this is the, the port that it went from here to here, so we're going to um, cap this off so we don't have an open source of air after the filter. Um, after we do that, we're gonna start it up. So, um, just give me a minute real quick and we'll get to it. <laughs> 